couldn't they afford to film footage this episode? Ah, there you go. <laughs> HVAC conditions surpass the ceiling 95 degrees. Polyurethane adhesive mollifies and tape data is unreadable. Does nobody understand what he's saying? I sure don't. So, I'm asking. <laughs> Am I alone? Sure you don't want to just blow it up? All we need is one security flaw. Look at this place, man. It was built not to have any. He's so obvious. Not real. <laughs> He's barely interacting with anyone. Also, hardly anyone interacts with him. What do you want? <laughs> That's a heavy knock. Why are you here? Ramiro got some clarity on your little plan that's gonna need you undivided. Okay, let's go. What's going on with you? You look like shit. <laughs> that's nothing new. Five big ass fortress like redundancies across the country. We get into one, but no way we get into all of them. The minute we fry one facility, they'll patch every climate control system they own. You have enough people. One to each facility. <laughs> Tyrell, as in Tyrell Welling? Since when did you and the goddamn CTO of Evil Corp become what, chums? Interim CTO. Already downloaded all the necessary PDFs and floor plans to target the uh, thermostats. It don't require some planning, but nothing I can't do in the car. It shouldn't take me long to own the facility's SCADA network. <gasps> She can talk. Y'all have gone and misplaced your collective minds. We've been planning this for months. Now we're gonna go up on a lock just cause he said so? This plan is shit. <laughs> I still need to prep the social engineering. Plus we have no idea who physically is gonna go in. Elliot, of course. <laughs> He's the right man. It's my plan. I'll go in. Look, man. You <laughs> I might be able to hide it from these nerds, but I know a junkie when I see one. In your condition, you ain't gonna do Jack or Jill except puke your brains out or give hand jobs for another eye. What are you talking about? Elliot is the most stable of all of you. Shit. Why would you say shit? If you're trying to be silent and sneaky, huh? I know that things are like okay between us right now, but I'm I'm not gonna let myself off easy, right? She shouldn't let you off easy. What is this? I hope she's just playing him. I refuse to waste my time playing nurse. We gotta get back, regroup, start devising a plan B. Rabbit is in the administration system. Send a flu shot. Rabbit flu shot. <laughs> It's clarity. It'll help you see past whatever's bringing you down. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. I don't do drugs. No need to apologize. Just throw that shit in her face and be done with it. Oh God, are you stupid? She hardly even knows that woman. Then she just accepts a pill. <laughs> he can go in, but only him. Uh, no can do, I gotta come with. Only if you're partaken, otherwise he goes it alone. Hmm, that guy actually talked to Mr. Robot. I just assumed that guy wasn't real either. <laughs> I need morphine, pills. Nah, man. This is all we got right here. It's better. Okay, Mr. Drug Dealer, whatever you say. Mm. Oh. Uh.
Is he dreaming or what is this shit? What's it open? <laughs> now, find your monster and turn the key. But first, a word from our corporate overlords. I guess it's a hallucination which tries to tell us that he actually is that Mr. Robot guy. Hello, friend. But we're not friends. <laughs> can you tell me what happened to that house? First, can you tell me what's your monster? <laughs> ding dong ding. Ding dong ding. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't be shy now. You can come closer. <laughs> it's piping hot, so consume with caution. Pop's famous raspberry pie. Enjoy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Elliot, I do. <laughs> You're not gonna do it, are you? Change the world. Figures. You're only born a month ago. You're afraid. Afraid of your monster. Do you even know what it is? Mr. Robot. I am a menace to society! <laughs> what? It's him. Wait, where are you going? It's him. Excuse me. Vote. No. Come on. Why does he have to yell? And now we have bisexual Angela. <laughs> I knew something was missing. Do you know how hard it's been for me to find you? <laughs> wow, in front of the boys. These guys don't mess around. I'm warning you. Hey, for the last time. Come on. That's right. If being a bitch doesn't help, being a pussy does. I'm gonna go pull the van around. Make sure he keeps chugging those. Thanks. Cool. Hello again. Long time now. I just realized both Elliot and Mr. Robert actually have the same kind of distinct jawline. I bet they had that in mind when they casted these two guys. Well, at least she tried to go to Elliot about it. Just so happened that he wasn't home because he's wasting away in some motel. <laughs> 